Hello there guys, welcome back to another short online tutorial. Today we're based in Adobe Illustrator and it's Jack from Blue Sky Graphics. What I'd like to do today guys is show you how to create a sphere within Adobe Illustrator. I have an example in front of you here and what I've gone for is for a sort of an earth-like sphere illustration. All we simply need to do is use a culmination of some very uh, basic tools to create this uh, sphere-like illustration. And what I'd love for you today to do is to get some ideas and then for you to create some amazing stuff within your graphic design career. Okay, so how do we create a sphere with Adobe Illustrator? What I'm first of all going to do is let's create a, a new artboard for us to, uh, to work on. So what I'm going to do is come to my artboard tool here and I've got the little plus sign at the top and I can now add a new artboard. Like so let's move that across there like so. Okay. So what I need to do first of all is create a nice uh, ellipse, okay? Uh, so what I'm doing is gonna come to our ellipse tool like so. And what I mean by nice, a nice proportionate size ellipse like so, right? And I do that by pressing shift, okay? So what I actually need to do is I need to add half of this uh, ellipse here, okay? So we have a full ellipse. And what I need to do is make uh, this into two halves. And it's very, very simple. What I'm going to do is use our scissors tool here. Shortcut is the letter C. Okay. And with that selected now, I'm going to make a little cut there by clicking. And then I'm going to come to the bottom anchor there. And also by clicking, I've now created two halves of this ellipse. Okay. So your scissors tool work on anchor points and anywhere on paths. So let's say, for example, now I press back to base and I've removed that side. Okay. So it doesn't really matter what color we have within our shape at the moment, simply because we'll be applying a material at a later stage. So have that selected. What we're going to do now is come to effect. And we, as you can see, we have 3D and materials. And the option I would like to be using is revolve. And as you can see, our sphere has been created. Now, what we have in here is many different options that we can play with. Okay, what I want to do first of all is apply our material. So I want to come to our material options at the top here. And as you can see, we have many different materials that we can now apply to our sphere. Okay, now we have these uh, materials that we can play with, but there are, uh, there are some others that you can download. If you come to this little icon here, okay, find more materials and substance three community assets. What that will do now, is that'll bring us to a place where we can come through and really shop around and really look at some other cool, different types of materials. You may wanna use food, for instance, watermelon material, strawberry, all for you to use at your um, will, okay? So really have a shop and look around uh, just to see what kind of clouds, for instance, there, lava effects, um, Venice here, one I downloaded earlier. Okay, so really have a play and really have a shop around with these uh, materials. Now, what I'm going to do is apply marble paint as my material. Okay, so as you can see now, we're really getting this earth-like uh, sphere together. And what I want to do is really sort of play around with the effect and uh, play around with the uh, material that's been applied. So if we scroll down, we have all these options here. So what we may do is just, just do pattern warp intensity. Let's have a look now. Pattern, like so, paint roughness. Fantastic, let's scroll down here. Really start playing with the right positioning and the offset, like so. And as you can see, you can really create some real cool stuff and real cool illustrations. What we may do now is we're gonna hover over and you can manually hover and rotate like so. Let's say I put a, put a bit of an option like so and you can really get some really cool angles on that. Let's say something like so. Perfect, we have the North Pole here at the top. <laughs> okay. Now, what I would like to do is start to play around with the lighting also as well here. And what the lighting does is, is, is vastly important to be fair to, to the 3D work as it 
basically adds the realism that we're looking for. Okay. So with the lighting, what I may do now is increase the intensity a tad. Like so we have the rotation. So we can rotate the lighting. Like so there we have the height that we can manipulate and change. Like so looking for sort of a lighting to come from the top left there for instance and we can increase the intensity of the ambient lighting or decrease the intensity of the ambient lighting maybe a sort of an effect like so wonderful and let's bring the softness up a little bit yeah you do have these options up here that you can go to top left right so for instance we now have top left that we can increase the intensity like so diffuse standard okay and now let's sort of give that a rotation like so. I'm just going to sort of manipulate the height there. Perfect. And we'll bring that in there like so. Okay. Now with that selected, right, and everything done, right, okay, what I always suggest you to do is do this right at the end, this option I'm about to show you, okay, is what I always suggest you to do is render with ray tracing. And the reason we do that is it adds just an extra sense of realism to your um, illustrations, okay? And it's as simple as clicking on it like so. What it may do sometimes, it may ask you to see whether you want to do low, medium, or high resolution uh, render. So what I did was click that little arrow and come to high. And let's say we go to render. Sometimes it may take a uh, bit of time for it to catch up and for Illustrator to recognize. Okay. But as you can see now, we're really getting that realism into our design. Okay. Now with that selected, what I'm going to do is come to object and expand it. Perfect. And I want to create sort of a shadow effect underneath it. So I want to create my ellipse here. Doing the lips like so there. Wonderful. We're going to apply a gradient to it. And let's do got our gradient window out here. Let's change that stop to black. Fantastic. And let's do a radial one. And with that stop selected, we'll now take the opacity to zero. Fantastic, like so. Okay. Now with that selected, I'm now gonna come to effect blur, Gaussian blur. And as you can see, you now you can really sort of pick up the sort of shadowing effect. Okay. And let's bring down the opacity a little bit like so. And what we'll do with that selected now is send that to the back. So right click arrange, send to back, like so. And there you go, guys. That is how you create a sphere within Adobe Illustrator. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses we offer, us as tutors, please take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also as well, guys, there are videos and tutorials that are coming out on a weekly basis across many softwares. That will be great uh, benefit to yourself and would love for yourself to take a look. Okay. So all you need to do is uh, take a look on our website and there are tutorials coming out on a weekly basis. Thank you very much, guys. Take care and I'll see you next time.